Greetings, fellow crafters. Tis I, your Hello Queen. Welcome back to my court. Welcome if you're new. I have a post review for you for the largest diamond painting I have ever attempted. Slate over this, you guys. Come on back and we'll talk about it. Okay, so if you've been following along with me, either in lives or talking with other people or have been following my videos, you know that I decided to do Festive, festive Fireplace, which is a Diamond Art Club canvas for my holiday canvas. Did it for four separate collabs, uh, Winter Whips 2020, Winter with DAC, uh, DP Holiday Joy, and DP Sweet December. And I finally finished it, you guys. This is a Dominic Davidson Diamond Art Club canvas that is, you're going to have to see in sections because it's 70 by 98. So this is the most recent section I finished up here earlier today. Today is the 4th of January. I started this one for on December 1st. And we move out. So I got all of this Christmas tree done. We've got our painting within a painting on up here. We've got heart wax apparently stuck to my canvas. That's cute. I'm going to have to go over this with a baby wipe, I think. Okay, we've got all of the greenery up at the top. Got two more little paintings here and then into the lovely wingback chair back here with the clock. So yeah, this had three ABs in it. The white is scattered in a lot of different places. The white is in the little, one of these little guys here, it's in this cushion a little bit. It's in some of the kittens down here that you can see on, on the screen. The yellow, it's in some of the stockings. It's in some of the presents. It's in the tree. It's scattered rather thickly. It's in these light, these candle lights you see up here. The yellow is in all these yellow bits you see in the garland, which you can't see. This garland up here. Yes, is all that. Um, also in the girl in here, although there is some that is not the what some of these aren't the the yellow lady, some of them are a different color. But the pink only shows up here in this little painting and here in the painting over the fireplace, both of which were fun to do. But yeah, by the end of this, I was like, why on earth did I ever agree to do a painting this big for a limited time thing. <laughs> so if I offer to do a 70 by 98 again or anything anywhere near that size for Christmas again, somebody hit me please. <laughs> this was a job of work. It is gorgeous. I am glad I'm done it, but because of how long it took, I'm basically going to now roll it up and put it in the box and put it away for next year because I won't and I won't get a chance to enjoy it hanging up because Christmas is over. It's the 4th of January and I slaved over this thing. So note to self, do not do a Christmas painting of this size ever, ever again. <laughs> to be fair though, when I bought this, I didn't look at the size. I went, oh, that's pretty and bought it. And then I got the size and went, it's how big? Yeah, that was my fault. Nobody's fault but my own. But now I had it and I had to finish it. So I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I finished it. I don't think I'll do something like this again for, for Christmas. Okay. So as is fairly common for Diamond Art Club, I have plenty of every color left. I had these all in here. And 
well, some of them were, well, they were getting low in a lot of places. Nothing ran out. Nothing even came close. There's some that even had about half a bottle left there. The one thing that I am a little concerned about is this is my trash drills. I was having to change. I actually sat down for a couple of sections in this area to chart out how many times I had to change colors. And I didn't count it if it was a color I had to get back out because I missed one or two drills. And I was having, I was having like 30 to 40 colors in a single section. It was insane. Like, I realize this thing has 65 colors, but 34 in a section. And these are what I was using for a section. They're about the size of a standard photo that you would get developed back in the day when people actually did such a thing. And I would have 30 to 40 changes of color in that section. So that's one of the reasons it took me so dang long. The tree was really bad for that. There was colors everywhere. But yeah, a lot of confetti. But it seemed like every time I was pouring out drills, I was having to trash one or two drills that were in my tray. Now, I've always been one who says trash is inevitable. Trash happens with every painting, but this amount of trash seems excessive. I realize it's a lot of colors. I realize it's a really big painting, but I've never ever seen this much trash before. Now, as I'm doing more bigger paintings, maybe I will find that this is fairly normal and it didn't end up doing anything bad to me. I mean, I had more than enough drills to get through everything, but that seemed like a lot of trash to me. That's, these things hold about a thousand drills. So that's about 800 trash drills and some of them are bits of flashing and some of them are bits of discomfort. I had an awful lot of concave drills that basically had no meat in them. They were just a shell of the outside of it. So there would be nothing for the, for the uh, adhesive to grab onto. I had a lot of concave drills. I also had a lot of drills that were that were stuck together from the manufacturing process. Like you can see some of the concave ones right there. And there's a lot of flashing and that sort of thing. So that seemed to me like it was a lot of trash. But because Diamond Art Club gives you so many extra drills, it came out fine. And ultimately that's what you're looking for is you want this you want this canvas that you're working on to not become a chore that you're having to weed through all of the all of the trash to get to the good drills. Every time I poured out, I had a good section of drills, but I would have one or two that I'd have to set aside to to trash. And you want to not run out of good drills. And all of that was accomplished. So yes, I started this on the 1st of December. I was doing it in tandem with another two other canvases. Uh, the other big canvas got left by the wayside because this thing took so long. And I want, I knew that I couldn't put this away. If I put it away, I would have all of these drills sitting there for a year. Because I knew if I put this away, I would not be interested in getting it out again until like November. And I was like, no, nah, I'm not putting this away. I need my storage back. So will not do again. Don't regret doing it. Will not do again. Would not recommend this for one of the biggest projects. But yeah, as you saw, I had it all rolled up on a, on a uh, pool noodle. And that's how I worked on it. Initially, I had the bottom part hanging off of the table here wrapped in a pool noodle while I was working on this end of it because I had it facing the other way to work on it. And then as I started getting more, as this started to take up more and more of my table, I then started rolling this end up on a pool noodle. At one point I did have two pool noodles going, one with the unfinished end and one with the finished end, but that didn't last long. Eventually I would just let the uh, 
unfinished end out. But I'm very pleased with this. I'm sure next year when I get it out and hang it up on my wall, I will be very happy to have it because it is a gorgeous, gorgeous painting. But, oh my God, I don't think I'll ever do that again. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for joining me. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Share it with your friends. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Keep it spooky, guys. Bye.